2020's biggest game so far, The Last of Us 2, is drawing a lot of praise, a lot of ire, a lot of controversy, and a lot of emotion. <laughs> We're here to give you our take so far within a few hours of the game. Is it deserving of all this? Is this a great game in the making? Or does this game appear to be a dud because they completely muffed up the story and gameplay? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What is up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor, y'all, before we get too deep in this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses of the medicine. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason. And y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud of the ass. Let's get into it. Y'all see the game on y'all screen. Y'all know what we about to talk about. Let's get into it, baby. The Last of Us 2. Like it, love it, or hate it. This is, for all intents and purposes, the biggest game of 2020 so far. And again, not saying at this point because it's the greatest game ever or it's the biggest game because it's the biggest flop. I'm not saying either of that. It's big because it's right now Sony's fastest PlayStation 4 game um, as far as sales are concerned. They said it is outpacing Spider-Man. And Spider-Man is what put PlayStation over the top as far as its success this generation. I mean, having Spider-Man and PlayStation 4's catalog, you know, was like the U-Bowl. <laughs> uh, I mean, not U-Bowl, but uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? The Ben, the, the ben Johnson, or whoever, track star, just looking behind them and saying, oh, you're getting close to me, Microsoft, and just turning on the turbo jets. You know what I'm saying? And if, if there was any hope that the Xbox One X was going to close that gap between Microsoft and PlayStation 4, you first got hit with God of War, which made Microsoft stumble, but then they it was, it was over when Spider-Man dropped, okay? And this is outpacing that. So again, like it, love it, or hate it, hate it, this is the biggest game of 2020, probably of the entire generation if this trend continues, okay? Now, besides all those pleasantries and all those nice things that we have to say about the game, we are about five and a half hours into this game. And we probably would be longer by the time of this recording, but I'll explain to you why. Something prompted us to stop. Something prompted us to stop, and I'm gonna get into that, but I'm gonna cover this first five hours five and a half hours okay first and foremost i want to introduce y'all to our how we how we rate games okay so what i'm doing right here is i'm giving you guys what i call the journal entry for this game now what do i mean by that we do reviews a little bit different here not only do we judge reviews a little bit different and you can see how we judge reviews by going to hndc.live forward slash game reviews You'll see this review in our whole review chart there. But we break that, not only do we break games down differently, but what we try to do is we try to be a little bit more transparent than most when we're judging games. So it doesn't seem like at the last minute, we're going with the public perception and we're changing our thought. You know what I'm saying? You can see everything as we go. Every time we pick up a game that is currently under our journal review and we put it down, you see what our immediate thoughts are after we decompartmentalize them a little bit and we put them down on paper, as soon as we do that and come up with our score, it hits the website and you see it happening live, real time, okay? So we've had about three sessions that we've played this game. First, the first session was about almost two hours. The other one was two and a half hours and another one was a little bit over an hour. You know what I'm saying? Hits where we got, you know, our total of five and a half hours. And you've seen, you you can see all three of these sessions. Two of them were live streams. One was a no commentary stream that we did for a little bit over an hour. Go to twitch.tv forward slash mighty most 2000. Or you can also go to hndc.live forward slash game reviews to see 
um we got a twitch link that leads you to the whole entire gameplay uh game uh gameplay playlist okay all right so enough enough with all that enough with all that what do we think of the game so far um let's go over our four pillars our field four pillars of how we judge a game is visual implementation which talks about the game how it looks how it's being presented how it matches its theme and 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 i want to say the uh the immersion of the game from what they're trying to pull off the product placement how did they advertise this game to you what did they say this game was about and how does it fit to what it was advertised does it meet fall short or exceed those expectations um game depth you know that's the gameplay level design all that good stuff you know how fun is the game how enthralling is just interacting with the game all together all right and then the game mechanics the bugs the movements the tutorials stuff like that you know how 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 stressful is it just doing normal things in the game you know what i'm saying is it is it is it complete and polished all right and then we come up with our average score and what our overall thoughts are so for the first pillar visual impl- implementation i mean right now overall we're averaging like i, I want to say we're close to like a 9.5 i mean some of the things i just had to say about the visuals top-notch visuals be- you know better looking and stellar in the summer settings when you get to seattle i'm not gonna say anymore because i don't want to spoil anything and they just look stunning man um i want to i'm on the cusp of giving it a 10 but i'm only five hours in the game you know what i'm saying but what i've seen so far really i i should have given it a 10 you know we'll we'll see at the end of the day how, how all of our reviews go i mean this is this by far is the best looking console game i've ever seen period period it's the best looking console game i've ever seen and don't let nobody fool you and say oh no this game might be better or that game might be better and all that no don't don't believe that garbage this is by far the best looking game out there whether you like the game or not you got to give it this problem okay next product placement um this was advertised well a lot of people know what the last of us is it sold a lot of copies but there's a lot of people that didn't play it um for those that maybe didn't touch the first one but seen the second one we've seen a lot of gruesome you know there's some stealth cover but a lot of action and i want to say that it started off slow but it's starting to pick up a little bit to where i want to say our average in that realm is about a seven and a half um some of the things we had to say story narrative sprinkled with some you know with some action you know um it's not showing uh, the combat heavy stuff that we, that was advertised but you know we're, we're seeing signs of it um it hasn't yet hit on that core action and stuff like that but so but it, it, it's not horrible it's just not where we would expect it to be but again we're still early in the game it's, it's said to be a 30 hour game we're only like five and a half hours in game depth here's where we're also around seven and a half because again the game is starting off very slow i want to say two-thirds of the game so far five hours in is a lot of cinematic stuff a lot of cinematic stuff they spend so much time trying to set the stage for this game and i think they spend a little bit too much time though some of the things that we've said is you know um we we do start you know as we get deeper in the game we start seeing some more action sequences appearing um stellar action mo- moments still too sparse and then there's this big i mean so you you don't have a lot of action moments when you do have them they're cool but they're short and boom you're hit with another long long of of like cinematic stuff right now there's one big cinematic sequence in the game that is it it, it changes the, the not only the dynamic of just this game but really the entire series as we see it so far again we're early but it's it, it changes the entire dynamic of the whole franchise okay um for for all intents and purposes it was done to really touch at the emotional heartstrings of the gamer to really get them 
in, involved in this whole revenge notion. Um, and it was a big, it's a big risk. It's a very big risk. I'm just not 100% sure yet. And again, it's early. I'm not 100% sure yet that they set it up and paste it properly. Like when this event happens, or when, it, when when this milestone happens, like there should have been some some serious attempt at the at the revenge moniker, like immediate, and you fell short. You know what I'm saying? I think that would have stuck more with the gamer, but. It, 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 it's, it's, it's not paced it did, They didn't pace it the best way But again, we're still early There's a lot they can do To change that whole dynamic They can probably flip that on its head as well I'm hearing people that finish the game Say there's a lot of emotional ups and downs So we'll see um, But again, as far as I'm reading That dynamic right now I, I, you know, It could have been probably done a little bit better But we will we will see With that being said The not the game depth that we're looking for, even though it's early. I, I know they're trying to do the set piece for the game, but I think they're, they're, they're dragging it out a little bit more. And also the game mechanics are, are solid though. The bugs, so it's, it's like an eight right now. Again, we're still early because we haven't done, there's not a lot of stuff that we've done. The reaction time and stuff like that is cool. So, you know, it's not stellar, but it's not bad at all. So, you know, it's typical Last of Us response and stuff like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, people said that there's issues with bugs. I have yet to run into any bugs. I have yet. And because we there's really not a lot that we're doing, it's hard for me to give it past an eight right now until I like get into a whole bunch of action-based timing type things, you know what I'm saying? But overall, when you average all that together, it's an eight. It's an eight so far, five hours in. And the biggest thing that I have to say right now is that it's a good experience. The positives are superb visuals. I mean, just the best out there. Immersion is great. You know what I'm saying? Mechanics are solid. And as we get closer to the five hour mark, the looting in the game give hints of more of a promise to customization. Now, as we focus, as we look at the negatives, the action slash tense stealth sequence is still too light and quick. Like I said, you get into a sequence and then you're bombarded with more cutscenes, and you know it's 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 just just as you're biting into the steak, it's like someone grabbing it away from you. You know what I mean? We're still waiting for story elements that balance the early climactic milestone, and I talked about that earlier. But overall, it's an eight, and on our chart, an eight is good. So far, it's good. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's pretty good. You know what I mean? So it's beyond good. It's pretty good. You know. I'm enjoying it, and I will say this, the, no matter where I come out at the end of this, whether I come out on the side where I'm loving this, or I'm coming out on the side where I'm like, ah, I really don't like it, I'm already enjoying this right now more than I am the first one. And secondly, at the end of the day, just from what I'm experiencing, I really can't see the game falling too far off the rails. I think at best, I'm going to get a very good experience once the action picks up. I think I'm going to get a very good experience. At worst, I think I'm going to get something that was at least intriguing in its presentation and how things played out. But I will tell you that of all, you know, I'm not the biggest Sony game fan. Out of all the Sony games that I've played, this one has me wanting to come back to it even more. Now, I spoke earlier about why we had to take a pause in the game. We had to take a pause in the game because this game looks so damn good that I gotta play this on the PlayStation 4 Pro. I don't have a Pro right now. I got one coming in the mail. The Pros are sold out everywhere. PlayStation 4 Pros are sold out. So I gotta wait for mine to come in the mail and then I'm gonna pick up the game until then I'll play some other stuff. So check me out on twitch.tv forward slash Mighty Most 2000. But we will pick up as soon as we get that Pro. And I'll tell you, even though it's just 30 frames per second, y'all know how I feel about 30 frames generally. The cinematic playing of this game, the cameras and the visual, it doesn't make 30 frames per second look bad. Like it, it feels like, I don't know if it's the camera angling or the motion blur or whatever. Something about this game, the 30 frames per second don't feel like 30 frames per second. It's just, it's a visual phenomenon when it comes to consoles. You gotta check it out. You gotta at least experience it. And with that said, that's it for your boy, MM2K. 
Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Cause like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the broadband bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with all that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this. There will be more, more to come, especially when we get that pro, baby. You all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.